Here's the question we're asking now at 9. Take a look at this this video, it's really tough to watch, folks. Out of Seattle, a group of five girls, they gang up and beat a 17-year-old girl. They stole her iPod, and she was asking for it back, and they started swinging. What makes it even worse, the teen was three months pregnant. Now, as uh, you can see, the girl's boyfriend, he tried to get in the way and help her out, but he was the only one on that bus who did anything. Now at 9 asking, how would you react in a similar situation? Would you get involved? It was the bus driver who actually called 911 to finally defuse the situation. But would you have done something? That bus was packed. Absolutely. Yeah, I would have screaming jumped at up people. there and started yelling people and yelling, you know, grabbing people off. I think it's ridiculous. How can you just sit by like that and be so apathetic? Yeah, and at one point, which we didn't show at one point in the video you could hear her say hey i'm pregnant i'm pregnant and all you re hear for the response is don't hit her in the stomach right. and then they just keep uh, going yeah well we so, can't tell i mean you. this is out of control she well, has had the baby she was three months pregnant at the time she did get stitches over her eye she has had the baby the baby's fine she took a, a pretty good beating over the eye and got, had stitches but kirk what were you going to say well i mean i just want to put a little perspective on this I, I think our society is different now than it was just 10 years ago uh People don't want to get involved because they don't want to get shot. They, I mean, there are other, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yesterday we talked about the woman with a purse and she got involved and right. she reacted and we said, you know, she was somewhat stupid for doing that because there was nothing she could do. But in this situation, you don't know what these people are capable of. So you're just innocently sitting on the bus. Uh, I mean, yes, people should get up and get involved, but at the same time, they're probably thinking to themselves, what if I do something? What's going to happen to me? Am I going to be dead by the time I get off this bus? Well, on Facebook right now, Jorge Mendoza says, as a human being, when you see something like this happening, you need to help stop the situation. No one should be violently, violently attacked when there are so many people around that could help. Michael Lucero on Facebook says, yes, I would. He's talking about jumping in and helping. The people who didn't get involved should be arrested, too. And Linda Francis says, yes, too many people are too violent against others. Cops can't be everywhere, and we have to take care of each other. The ABC show, What Would You Do, is a good example mm. of people who step up. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Cecilia writes, I think this says a lot about the way people view violence here in the USA. It's okay, and where's the popcorn when a bus full of people watch this take place and they do nothing? Dennis Chesney on Facebook says, I would have gone down swinging trying to help. So there's someone who would have really jumped in and, and taken a stand. Absolutely. And listen, I mean, most of the people on, on Facebook here are, are saying, yes, I would jump in. But Garrett chimes in and says, no way I would have gotten involved. You never know who has a gun. And that's sort of the perspective I'm taking. I'm not saying I wouldn't get involved. It would depend on the situation. I'm, I'm not going to make a decision just from watching this video. But I am saying that you know, these people are thinking about themselves. They don't, they don't want to end up shot. Wow. Yeah, but you know, that's the is, problem. Look at the selfishness of everybody. When you look at this video, they are brutal. I mean, they are punching. And I mean, look at that. But what's more disturbing is the people sitting down. Ugh. Their faces are not even alarmed. I would be like this at least. Or, you know, there would have been a reaction. There wasn't even a reaction on their faces. They were just sitting there. Yeah. They were you know, stunned. I the think they were that stunned. Really see, I disagree. I watch that and I see their faces in shock and just stunned. What's going on? I mean, in disbelief of what's going on. Well, I, and, and I, I and disagree. I, I, the, the, I mean, look at the, look at the gentleman there in the hat. I mean, he's just. I don't know. Maybe they are stunned. Maybe they don't know what to do. him in the back of the head. Listen, I, I'm just saying it's easy for us to sit back here and watch this video and, and judge what happened, but it's an entirely different situation when you're on that bus, this is happening. And it's a city bus. It was a city bus. And you're thinking to yourself, I should do something, but but what the heck happens to me if I do well, do something? Well, especially when, when you heard or when they heard, hey, I'm pregnant, if you didn't spring to action, yeah. I, I, how? How do you not do that? How do you not help? I'm sorry. <laughs> that just makes me don't so mess mad. With Rebecca don't mess with Rebecca. Don't dare. Don't be. <laughs> <laughs> the claws will come out. All right. Oh, here's something else that's getting me fired up. And I'm sure <laughs> a lot of you as well.